Hello, this is Christian Fint for AVP Tech Canada and AVP Tech International. Today I would like to show you how to finalize your Kentex Go 2.0 account and how to start using your Kentex Go app. This video is mainly meant for end users, but if you are interested in learning more what's behind the curtain and how to set things up initially, uh, just leave me a note and or watch one of the other videos in this channel. So after your building manager has entered your account for the Kentex Go, um, you will receive an email such like this. Now the design might change over time. Um, and of course the name in the center will uh, display your building name or your organizational name. You click on that button and you will be asked to enter a password. Your username is your email address. After you've done that, you can finally uh, log into the Kentex app on your phone. And for that, I have to quickly switch to my phone. On your phone, um, please make sure you start the new app. It's the black one with the outlined orange X, the Cantix One Go, and enter your use, uh, email address as the username and then the password you just created yourself. In the next step, you'll be asked to enter a security code, which will also be sent uh, via email. And once you're done with that, it's finally time to move on. Once you're logged in, you'll see the list of all the buildings you have access to. Um, now, most likely for most end users, it will only be just one building. So in my case, the demo station is my alarm manager. So if I click here, I'm in the overview section. So the green thumb tells me everything is okay. If you do use um, environmental controls, then you can basically go and check uh, multiple locations that everything's okay uh, right there. Now, with the three dots here in the upper right corner, uh, you can show the details if you want to, and then it jumps into the details. Okay, so let's go back um, to the alarm manager. The most important button uh, for most end users are, is the door button right underneath the thumbs up symbol. If you click it, it shows all the doors. Now, in this particular demo set I have, I only entered the front door, so I only have one door. Once I am entering it, I can open it. So if I click open, it sends the opening signal and that takes only a second or two. I can also, if a camera is connected, check the corresponding camera. And I have to warn you, it's dark and I live on acreage and there's no artificial light. So that's really a crappy picture. Um, I apologize. There is a motion detection light, but there's no motion out there. Yeah, not the best uh, picture to show here, but it's not about the camera, it's about the access control system. Okay, let's go back. Now, the first thing most end users want to do is adding this front door or all the doors which are important to them to their favorites. So for that matter, we push on the little button in the upper right corner and click set favorite. Once we set it as a favorite, on the bottom you see there's a star for the favorites. Now, the front door appears right there. Now we can add a group to that if you, if you would like to, but we can simply go into it as I just said. You can also change the color of the button, whatever you prefer, so from orange to green or blue, whatever suits your tastes. And then you can also check, um, change the building, maybe to a house symbol if you want that. And once you go back, you'll see how quickly it changes as well. Now on the bottom, you also have notifications. Again, that won't matter um, if you only are using smart access. Um, and the last button would be settings. So here you can change your email address, you can change your password, you can change the appearance. So in, at the moment I have a dark mode, you can have a light mode, or you can do this automatically. And the biometric access, you can allow the face or touch ID, or you can deny it. And then you have the typical information and you may log out of that account. That's basically it. Um, there's not much more. I go, well, you can also check the camera, of course, if there's a camera right from the get-go. That is possible. I talked about this already. And you can also set it as a favorite. So if we go to favorites, then we'll basically... Did I forget to click something? Ah, yeah, all favorites. Sorry. Uh, and then we'll see the door station here as well. 
That's uh, how to use the app. There is an app available for the uh, Apple smartwatch. I'm not sure about the Google or Android devices. Um, might be two, but I know for sure there's one for the I iWatch or Apple Watch. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave comments below and I will answer them at my earliest convenience. And thanks for watching. You have a great day.